Say hello to the all new Melbourne designed and built family compact off-road camper, the Geotrek Trek XP. But is it up to the task of taking on the established crowd? Let's check it out. The Geotrek is a unique package that offers some big camper features when set up, but shrinks down to about the same size as your four-wheel drive tow vehicle when on the move. The user-friendly design is backed up by a tough, lightweight body construction, incorporating welded aluminium, polypropylene sandwich board, and tough Aussie canvas for a go almost anywhere RV package. With pricing around $75,000 for this mid-spec Trek XP model, it also represents decent value compared to some of its Australian-built rivals like the Track Trailer T-Van. The Geo Trek is purpose-built for some of the roughest roads you can access including a handy 500mm ground clearance and some body protection including these bright red aluminium rock sliders, underbody skid plates and some recovery points if you do manage to get stuck. Also part of the off-road package is a galvanised chassis with independent trailing arm core suspension, DO35 coupling, 12-inch electric brakes and 16-inch alloys with all-terrain tyres. But what really sets the Geotrek apart is its patented multi-stage setup. So for quick overnight stays, you just drop the stone guard, pull open the steps, pop the roof, and you're ready to hop into bed. Once set up, the Geotrek stands out with its clever fold-out drawbar mounted ensuite platform, cosy full height interior that sleeps four, as well as its rig balancing rear backpack storage area. Cooking is outside on a pull-out external kitchen that includes a gas cooktop and removable sink, with another locker for the two pantry drawers and an integrated chopping board. About the only thing missing in the kitchen area is a locker with a slide out for a plug-in portable fridge. So you probably have to run the fridge in the back of the tow vehicle. For better weight distribution, heavier items like the six 20 litre jerry cans for extra fuel or water and the spare wheel are neatly housed in a rear mounted backpack that lowers on struts for easy access. There's also some marine carpeted storage space back here, together with the twin gas bottles and electrical components for the two 130 amp hour AGM batteries, which are fed by twin 120 watts rooftop solar panels. The Trek XP version also gets a gas bayonet for a barbecue and external LED strip lighting, but you'll need to pay extra for 240 volt and mains water connections. For longer stays, you can drop the front canvas walls secured by bungee cords and make use of the off the ground shower and toilet, or drop the corner stabilizers and erect the curbside awning for more undercover protection. There's also an offside awning fitted and an optional annex will also be offered if you wanted to set up an outside room for the kids perhaps. The shower area includes a hot cold shower hose with a hook and LED light, a solid base with drainage hole and some canvas privacy walls, while the big 158 litre water capacity and hot water unit should help keep the whole family clean and fresh for days. There's also a slide out for a portable toilet, which is particularly handy at night and neatly stows away when not in use. The modular interior fit-out includes an east-west double bed and two singles, or these can be converted to a solitary king bed for when it's just the two of you camping. As well as standing room under the strut-assisted pop-top, there are some built-in storage drawers and a control panel for the electrics located inside. The tinted side windows with blinds are fixed, but there's an electric roof fan hatch for some ventilation, along with some bedside lights, while Geotrek is planning to offer a table that folds out between the single beds for meal times. Packing up should be just as straightforward and the light ball weight makes it easier to manoeuvre around. So now we're hitched up, what's it like to tow? Even when fully loaded to the maximum 1800 kilograms, the Geotrek is one of the easiest campers to tow around, whether you're on fast dirt or lumpy tracks, and especially behind something like this V8 Land Cruiser. 
It's also a good option for narrow bush tracks and when navigating sharp corners or backing into small campsites. At just over two meters wide and with plenty of ground clearance and underbody protection, you really shouldn't get into too much trouble towing the Geotrek unless you get too bold and adventurous. So while the Geotrek isn't exactly cheap and has some compromises due to its size, it's an enticing option for young families wanting something more convenient and more solidly built than your average off-road tent trailer. It should also appeal to those people who really want to get away from it all and drag a family-friendly camper to some of Australia's most remote and picturesque camping spots.